Ciao, buongiorno, good morning to everybody. I'm uh, Fabrizio, a founder and tour guide of Italia Sweet Italia. And uh, today I will be very happy to let you discover my hometown, Vasto, uh, in Abruzzo. And uh, I would like to start from one of the places of my heart, that is here at Punta Derci Nature Reserve. For me, it's a symbol of Abruzzo because it's uh, like a postcard in which you can see the most important attractions as a naturalistic point of view and also architectonic uh, of the region. From here, in the same place, you can see, in fact, the Adriatic Sea in front of us. On the back, you can see the Apennines uh, with the snow, uh, that is Maiella. Further, you can see very well uh, with, uh, with the camera, there is also the Gran Sasso mountain and Maiella and Gran Sasso are the highest mountains of the Apennines that are cutting the skeleton of uh, Italy. In this natural reserve that has been considered one of the most beautiful beaches in Italy according to the uh, Ital to Italian uh, Environment Association and uh, uh, international uh, newspaper and uh, this is a trabocco uh, a trabocco is an ancient fishing platform that was used by local farmers around 300 years ago I mean they started 300 years ago to fish without to go really inside to the water and they were created by the farmers to avoid the, the risks to go into the sea. Maybe they were neither able to, to swim. So uh, until 50 years ago, they were still used as a daily uh, work by the Traboccanti, that is the name of this kind of fishermen and farmers. And uh, uh, during the last uh, years, they became uh, a touristic attractions in fact here among Vasto and the, the next 40 kilometers there is a, an area that is called the Trabocchi coast and nowadays there are many of these Trabocchi where you can have a, a, a lunch or a dinner suspended by the sea where, uh, for example, you can uh, enjoy the most famous dish of Vasto, Brodetto alla Vastese, that is a fish stew, that is combining many varieties of uh, fresh fish and seafood from the Adriatic Sea. And so they are the symbol of the area. In this place, during summer time, you can also admire a wonderful sunset during a jazz concert.
tour of Vasco City Center from uh, the place where I grew up. I'm uh, on the uh, balcony of my parents' house. Here there are some uh, steps with beautiful tiles decoration made by the students of an art school here in Basso and uh, gave a new life to this part of the town and now it is one of the most photographed attractions of the town. Here we can see this impressive construction that is Palazzo Davalos, that is the most important Renaissance palace of the town and one of the most important all over the region. And it is from the 15th century and it is where were, were, was living the Davalos family that was dominating Vasto for three centuries. They were part of the Spanish domination and the king was based in Naples and here there was also a summer residence. And these are the Giardini gardens of Palazzo Davalos from the 18th century are Napolitan style gardens and are the only ones on the Adriatic Sea and they are very popular in summertime for music, uh, uh, cinema and uh, cultural events.
and uh, this is the cathedral of uh, San Giuseppe from the 13th century and uh, you can see the rose window that is the original one the tower bell of course and on the back you can see the Palazzo d'Avalos from another side so this is one of the most famous walking area of Bath and this is the church of Santa Maria the oldest church of the town that was built in the 10th century and this is the tower bell from the 13th century Inside this church there is the Holy Thorn that is, that is, they say, one of the thorns of Jesus Christ's crown. And here you can see Piazza Rossetti, that is the main square of Vasto, dedicated to Gabriele Rossetti, a poet and patriot that was born in Vasto, is this guy, in this statue. And uh, as you can see, here there is also, uh, you can see a, a tower, it's a tower of uh, the castle of Vasto, that uh, was created in the 15th century and was connected to another palace called Palazzo Palmieri in the 18th century that we can see now here. And uh, the piazza is uh, like a, a circle. Uh, where in the 15th century was built another tower that is called the Tower of Bassano and it's uh, still uh, used for some residents and also for, for some shops and uh, all this area as you can see it's a circle during Roman times was a Roman amphitheater in fact, now here we can see some Roman ruins. And uh, here we are along the Adriatica, which is uh, another beautiful spot of Vasto, one of my favorites. Here in summertime it's uh, very vibrant with many bars, restaurants and open air tables. And this is also another historical place of Vasto, because here you can see some ruins. Here there were the Roman baths. were part of the Roman bar, okay? And uh, they had, you can see, okay, this beautiful view of uh, Vasto Marina. And uh, this is the portal of uh, San Pietro, uh, from the church of San Peter, from the 12th century that uh, fall down in 1956 after a landslide that there was in this area so nowadays there is the only the portal and this is one of the few places that i know at least in italy in which you can see this view from from this frame that is uh, uh, a beautiful portal and arch